From the place where the British keep historic documents, a birthday present for the United States. And there we are. Discovered a few months ago, buried in a box of other documents deep in the archives, the Declaration of Independence. It's one of only 26 surviving original copies of the document that were printed in Philadelphia on July 4, 1776. It was found uh, recently, interspersed within our colonial records, um, records actually relating to the American War of Independence. The war had already been raging for a year when the declaration was signed, and about 200 printed copies, the exact number isn't known, were sent around the fledgling United States to rally the troops and citizenry to the cause. Sometimes it was read out to crowds by riders on horseback. There's still debate about where the ideas came from, but the language was unmistakably American and still defines the democratic ideal of truths that are self-evident that all men are created equal, of unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The last time one of the 26 surviving copies emerged was nine years ago, when it was bought for more than $8 million by a consortium headed by TV producer Norman Lear. All but three of the copies are in the United States. The others? Right here in the hands of the old enemy. It is ironic that um, actually we have three of these now, which is more than the U.S. Library of Congress. Is that right? Yes. But they say it's in good hands. You'll take good care of it. Of course. <laughs> Mark Phillips, CBS News at the National Archives in London.